In this video, I will show you how to use the newly redesigned Send Email module. The Send Email module allows you to send emails to building staff, management and residents. You have many options for choosing your recipients, with the ability to send email blasts to everybody depending on your level of access, email blasts to specific types of occupants, and even email blasts by location, so floor or line. To send an email through Building Link, click on the Communicate tab and select Send Email. Then click the Compose button in the top left corner of the page. When sending an email, you'll see the default From email address in the From field. However, you can always replace this email with another email address by clicking on the From field. Your name will auto-populate as well, but you can choose to alter that in the moment or use the building name by checking or unchecking the box. Next, choose who should receive the email by clicking any of the options via the blue links on the right or by typing in specific units, occupants or employees using the To field. The Exclude button. This allows you to exclude non-resident owners, which will omit any owners with renters in the units from the recipient list so that only people actually living on site will receive the email. All occupants. This allows you to email all occupants in the building link database. By location, this allows you to select occupants based on their location. You can choose to email everyone, for example, on the east side of the building, in the south tower, the lower main tower, whichever is appropriate. The type and group. There's occupant types. This allows you to select occupants based on their types, such as owner, tenant, agent, family member, commercial owner, etc. Filtered groups. This allows you to choose a specific filtered group. Email groups. This allows you to email members of a specific email group. Residents. This allows you to select occupants based on units. Employees. This allows you to email all employees, all employees of a specific type or select specific employees by name. Committee members or board members. If committee members are applicable at your property and they are coded into the system, you can also select them here. Message links. If you've created message links in your building directory, for example, email the committee or email the strata manager, you can email those groups by selecting message links. Additional recipient options. Selecting the More button will give you the option to, if you have opt-out enabled for your property, you will see an option to override opt-out settings. Selecting this option will send to all residents on your recipient list, regardless of their opt-out status. If you'd like to view a list of your selected recipients' names and email addresses, click the blue View Recipients link. A box will pop up that displays all contacts in the To field of your email. If you'd like to export this, you can select the Export button in the bottom right corner. Once you've selected your recipients, type in the subject and the message for your email and then click on Send. Using templates. If you'd like to customise the look and feel of your email, select one of our editable templates by clicking Templates, then use an email template. You can view templates that your building has created your saved content and templates that Building Link has created for you. If you'd like to use one of these templates, click on the Use Template. To learn more about creating and editing templates, see our video tutorial on email templates. To add images, you can embed images into your email body by clicking on the image icon in the toolbar. You can either upload an image or search our image gallery. If you search for an image in our gallery, you can enter in a keyword and the image gallery will provide you with a list of images you can use. If you'd like to send your emails with customised signatures, simply click the signatures icon in the editor toolbar. If you've already designed and saved any signatures, they will appear below. You can click on any signature to add them to the end of your email. To design a new signature, simply click Manage Signatures Options. Adding Attachments. To add an attachment to an email, click the Attach button on the bottom left and select a file to attach from your computer. 
Building Link supports email attachments up to 40 megabytes in size for total attachments and body of your email. You can schedule emails to be sent out at a later date. To do this, click the Send Later button on the bottom right below the body of your email. Select a future date and time, then click Schedule, and your email will be sent at that time. The email will also appear in the Scheduled folder in your mailbox if you need to make any changes to it before it is sent out. Be sure to check out our other videos for more tips on using Building Link.